you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. Today, I'm going to be going over how to prepare for part two slash three of the Most Feared promo. Now, as you guys know, Most Feared just dropped, I believe, last Thursday night was a special stream. No, Wednesday night was a special stream, but... It was supposed to come out Thursday, but EA isn't a um, isn't a reputable brand anymore, so we didn't get that. Though. We didn't get that Thursday. We got that Friday. So, in essence, it's been out for at this point like what four or five days. But the thing is, is that they only released part one on Friday, and there is part two and three, which because at the moment they have the scary strong, which is the Ray Lewis master. They're gonna have the scary sharp master and the scary fast master. Now, initially. We don't exactly know how they're gonna drop the next two parts. I'd imagine two and three, because typically they don't make it into a three-part promo. I mean, they could, because this week they could do part two, and then the final week before Halloween, which will be next week, they could do part three. Now, I don't know if they'll run that, because part three will definitely be a, a lot shorter, considering Halloween is only about like 10 days away. But for the most part, if they do drop it in segments, I'll make it how to prepare for the part three part, but for now, it's just where we're working on part two, guys. But before we get into the video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys, turn on that noti bell. We're close to 11k already. You guys have been killing it with the support as of late. Guys, things are booming lately. Thank you guys so much for all the support. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it. Make sure to comment down below, say what's up. Let me know what you guys are doing to prepare for the most of your part two. I always love hearing your guys' analysis and feedback on things. Helps me out as a content creator. And if you haven't already, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, boys. I will be picking the giveaway winners probably tomorrow morning. I haven't had time to pull through. There's literally like thousands of comments. I gotta, I gotta sit there and pull all of them. So I'm gonna need some time on that. I'm a little back. I'm backed up on all those. I don't know how many of you guys would actually enter that, but you guys get the point. Anyways, so for the the current part that we got was the scary strong master. So as you guys know, it goes scary strong, scary sharp, scary fast. Now I have a feeling that they'll do the the sharp next. And the fast last. I feel like scary fast is always like that's like the boom of the promo, so they'll probably keep that for last. Now, with strong already being out, guys, this promo has been taking a weird turn only because of the make rights. So, as you guys can see, the pieces are 236. Now, in Madden history, whenever there's been a master set, they've never been this cheap initially, and the master's never been that cheap initially. Like when they did the Thanksgiving thing, um, Lawrence Taylor Master was like 800k or a million coins around there, and his pieces were like 350 each, 400k each. The reason these are so cheap is because EA messed up with the abilities. They gave us back like tens of hundred thousands of training to a lot of people. So people had excess training, which they could spend on store packs, get extra coins, get more bats. They really made it very easy for people to acquire these players. Not to mention we get them from that from house rules. We're getting free bats. So essentially the first part of this promo was kind of underwhelming uh, as far as the prices and what you could actually get back from pulling these cards. Now the second part, as long as there's no more make rights and people start running low on training, I don't think that it'll be as cheap as this one. Like, but Ray Lewis is definitely a banger. Now I don't think Scary Sharp will be as expensive only because you have to, you have to think about it. Scary Sharp is more like awareness and how and smartest players. I don't think that really impacts as much like meta Madden. But the scary fast will probably be very expensive. If they do drop a banger scary fast player, it's gonna be very expensive, guys. So if you want to participate in the scary fast part of it, make sure you're you're buckling down and getting your coin stack up because scary fast is gonna be probably pretty expensive, at least more expensive than this one. Unless they give us another house rules for more free players and they make another make red or something. Other than that, scary fast will definitely be more expensive than scary strong was. I don't think scary sharp's gonna be that expensive, depending on the players they drop. Now, initially, I did have Le'Veon Bell in my video, I mean, like a week ago, guys, as a card that's going to get one of the next upgrades, so, ironically, he came out as a surprise on Sunday. Now, I was going to make this video and go over how I thought Le'Veon Bell has to get one of these cards, but they inevitably ended up dropping him as a surprise, so it kind of blew that thing. I had tons of Le'Veon Bell power-ups, that's how I got a lot of these coins up. I've been, stu I've been sitting on them, I knew he was going to get a card soon. I made it in that top 10 videos of players that needed to get upgrades soon. Uh, now, Zeke is next. Do I think Zeke will get a most feared card? I don't think so. Uh, I think they'll probably hold him for a Blitz promo or the Thanksgiving promo or a Team of the Week for this week. I don't think they'll actually end up giving him a most feared card. Le'Veon Bell was definitely due for an upgrade. So is Tyree Kill, but again, they might hold Tyree Kill for a Blitz or Thanksgiving. So I'm not entirely sure they're going about that. Now, as far as most feared, guys, I'd recommend you start getting your coins up because with the part two and three, we, it just started, right? Most feared just started and it got off to a rocky start. So it's really going to start kicking into high gear when part two and three start dropping. With the house rules ending, I believe this Friday, approximately, when they get everything out. If it does release this Friday, uh, the house rules going to be over this Friday, obviously. With that being over and the first part of the free players done, unless they give us more free players, I imagine these players would be more expensive than usual. And as far as bats, I'd definitely start building your bats for the chance that they do end up dropping a blitz. 
Now, cards that could potentially get upgrades. There's few base leads left in the game that don't have upgrades. Um, Le'Veon Bell was on my list. Ezekiel Elliott was on my list. Travis Frederick was on my list. Travis Frederick's a guy that I think could really get an upgrade in this promo, considering that they haven't really given him any love. They haven't given him any centers love in general, besides him away and uh, Burke and Morse. The base elites like Jason Kelsey got a signature series, so he's the only like base elite lineman left that hasn't really gotten an upgrade. And Le'Veon Bell is obviously on that list, but he's now out. And it kind of sucks they gave Le'Veon Bell a limited time, because obviously most people, I mean, at least I was excited for a Le'Veon Bell card. But being that he is limited time, you guys have to anticipate that he's going to be very expensive up until uh, Series 3 Redux, which at that case, he won't be usable, which does suck. Because by the time they drop the Redux, his 87 speed is going to be way played out, which does suck. They kind of killed that. They kind of botched that. And um, you guys can see right here, Tyler Lockett, 220. Would I recommend picking up some of these guys? Guys, if these guys get below 200k, like to 190-ish, I'd highly recommend you start picking some of them up because... With a new currency such as bats, as you guys know, the best way to make coins sometimes in a promo is by manipulating the currencies. So with uh, part two and three coming, bats are going to be important because there's going to be new cards introduced, new scary cards introduced. So bats could be very useful. And if it's anything like the Christmas promo, if they end up dropping something cool like Halloween secret packs or something that you could use with bats. If these guys get below 200k, that'll be an awesome bat, um, awesome way to get bats. Now don't forget also, guys, if they get below 200, you could start picking up these cards as a way of getting ready for the end of most fear because at the end of most fear these cards will convert to training values so a 92 overall training value it doesn't will, will be way more than that let's go check let's go check with 92 92 overalls right now legends 420k so if you can get them for about 190 200k when the promo is over you could literally those cards will have to skyrocket up if you guys remember anything from a christmas promo i stocked up on 350k ed reeds because I knew that his training value was worth way more. And then when the promo ended, Ed Reed skyrocketed back up to 550 and I made literally 10 million coins. I had like 25 Ed Reeds from the, uh, the gifts, maybe even more. Maybe I had like 30 something Ed Reeds. I made so many coins. So just stay on the lookout for the uh, the bat because these are really cheap right now because people have so many of them. But if they do end up doing a blitz promo, they end up dropping some fire pack that you can do with bats or something cool to use a bats with, they will go up. And I can't imagine if you get these cards for low 200, high 100s that you'll be losing at all. Because like I said, at the end of the promo, they will go up. So they're one of the safer investments you can make. And like I said, if you want to invest in any guys you think deserve a card, I don't think Zeke will be getting one. I really don't anticipate it. Unless it's a limited time. Unless it's limited time Zeke. Because limited time we can't anticipate for. But if it's not limited time Zeke, I do anticipate him coming out during the Thanksgiving promo. So like I said, build your bats up. Now the solo challenges, guys, I don't really recommend you guys play these. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong here. But I see these solo challenges as kind of useless at the moment. The only thing these most feared solo challenges did that was useful was maybe the 85 overall fantasy pack and the team captain token. Because the team captain token, but you get that for just two solos. So, I mean, I, I haven't played them because I really don't think this is necessary. 600 bats you can get from like a few house rule games or a few uh, solo challenge games. Definitely make sure you're playing your daily cauldron solos. Those are very important because you do get the pieces from Michael Thomas, Vita Vey, and Anthony Barr. Now, I'm anticipating they're going to give us more ways to get them because at the moment, they're really rare to be getting out of these packs. So, you guys have to imagine that within the next few weeks, like they can't, they can't just let us get like a piece or two and then the promo ends and no one really got those cards. There's going to definitely be more ways to get them besides the cauldron challenges and the house rules. So I think that maybe towards the end they might do a, you can use bats to get the final pieces or something, which will be good because then you can finish off your sets. So that's what I'm saying. I think bats have to have more of a use than just store packs and like store sets or reroll sets. I think there's definitely going to be more than just that. So definitely, I definitely think holding on to some bats is good. That's why I have 10k just sitting there. I wouldn't be using them. And obviously the 77 set, maybe I'll open some of those to you guys on video, but I don't really think that's, I think that's too risky for my blood. But other than that, I don't want don't anticipate another house rules with the free player. I think they could potentially, they could give us one towards the end for the last week of the promo because there won't be one next week, but there may be one the following week. I wouldn't anticipate that or count on that because they already gave us one free player, but we have to see. There's still two masters to be seen. So if you have any guys that you think could be getting an upgrade, make sure you're picking up their power-ups because as you guys can see, you can make tons of coins on power-ups. People who had Tyler Lockett power-ups made thousands of coins. I made thousands of coins on Le'Veon Bells. I sold Le'Veon Bells for like 12K each. I got them for like three to 4K. So I made tons of coins on those each. I had like 30 of them. Just saying, definitely pick up on that. Definitely be on top of, be checking the bat market. And any predictions for them? I mean, scary fast. I want to believe Tyreek Hill, but I don't think so. Uh, we've been thinking about Devin Hester for the wild card of Mutt 10. So I feel like he's coming soon. I don't know if it'll be Mutt 10 or the most feared promo. It could be either or. And like I said, Frederick's potentially one. Um, Jason Kelsey had the signature series, so I can't have him in there. And now, for as far as most feared players, I don't really know who else they could really add. I knew Le'Veon Bell might get one, and here he is. But I'd imagine if they do do this promo, they'll probably release the second set maybe this Thursday. 
I'd hope sooner, but if they want to match up week by week for when the house rules ends, Thursday would match up, guys. And you couldn't expect, I will be making a video going over the best players to take from the Mutt 10 pack, because that will be coming this week, like this Friday. We will be finally able to get the Mutt 10 player. I won't, but you guys will be. So that's pretty much that wraps up everything I think you need to do to prepare, what to think about, what to stay on top of, just so you guys don't get behind and you have like, as long as you follow these tips, you guys will do just fine with the rest of the promo and at least be ready. Because I can't, I'm not going to give you guys things to do because if I give you guys specific things to do and it doesn't work out, you guys wasted time. I gave you guys what to think about and you could use that accordingly as things come out. And like I said, there has to be something more with bats. I don't think it'll just end like that. And bats do convert back to training at the end of the series. So remember, if you have extra, if you have an excess of bats, like 50k and the series about to end, or the season's about to end, or the promo, I should say, make sure you're using them up, unless you guys want to take the training back, but it all depends. I don't know if it'll be a half value or third value. Again, that all depends on how bats are looking towards the end of the promo. But that is about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. If you would like, you won't regret it, though. I promise you that. Comment down below what you guys expect and what you guys are doing to take caution for the rest of the promo. And if you haven't already, comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up, boys. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.